Hello, I'm Jackie Stewart, your host for New Life, His Gift to Us. This is your Bible study, and as always, I encourage you to get your Bible, paper and pen, and follow us. As we, today, we study speaking spirits. My guest with me is Pastor Richard Stewart, and Pastor Stewart, we will begin our study in Ephesians chapter 5, reading verses 15 through 20. And it reads from the King James Version of the Bible, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My text scripture is taken from verse 15, which says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. And we know as a result of speaking to ourselves that faith comes and when we do these things, the joy of the Lord is in our heart. And what the scripture says, what the joy of the Lord is our strength. It's our strength. Right? That's correct. So when I did the study, um, I went back to Genesis, as always, <laughs> where, he's, where God says, let us make man after our image and after our likeness. And then I said, okay, God, you are a spirit. So man, therefore, in his image is also a spirit. And when he breathed into the clay form of man, his breath, then man became a speaking spirit, a thinking spirit. And um, then I said, okay, so man is a speaking spirit. He has a soul, which is his mind, his will, and his emotions, and he lives in a clay body. But the scripture made a distinction between one who is speaking word and simply one who is emitting sounds or just making a lot of noise, clanging around because they're speaking from the vanity of their mind. So our study today is not to be wise in our own way, but to be wise in the things of God. So we want to encourage um, all of our students to follow us as we go through the word and to um, describe the speaking spirit and what he should avoid and what it is that he should do. So where were you led in your study? Well, the first thing that I looked at was in the book of Hebrews in chapter 11, verse number 3. 11, 3 of Hebrews? Right. Uh -huh. It says, Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made by things which do appear. Mm -hmm. It tells us by faith that we understand that the whole universe, everything that we see, those things we see and don't see, were made or created by the Word of God. And then God created us in His image and gave us this awesome ability to speak words. Right. But because it was such an awesome ability, God had to take and rein man in so that in His fallen state, he would not be able to use this ability to do things that would utterly destroy himself. So we see in Genesis, when God created everything, he said something uh, as an example. Uh, over in Genesis chapter 1, verse uh, number 3, it says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And in verse 6, it says, And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And then the firmament and the waters appeared. And then in verse 9 it says, And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place. And this occurred. And God then spoke the flowers into being, and God then spoke the heavenly bodies, the sun, the moon, the stars. So we see from this that the way that God created was that He said something. And then he saw what he said. Right. So he invested an awesome power in the spoken word. Mm -hmm. Now you're right there in Genesis. Let's turn over to Genesis chapter 11 okay. and verse number 6. You had mentioned that uh, there's a difference between speaking words and making sound. Mm -hmm. And in Genesis chapter 11 verse 6 it says, And the Lord said, 
Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they began to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Let go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not be able to understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of the earth, and they left off to build the city. Mm -hmm. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, mm. because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. Well, it's called Babel because that's what the people were doing. They were babbling. It's confusion. Mm -hmm. And the word stems from another word that means not only confusion, but gross confusion. And with the combined language ability to speak and understand, the Lord said, there's nothing that they can imagine that would be restrained from them because of the awesome power of speech and of words. Okay, so when one is on one accord, say if a husband and wife are in one accord, then they are a very powerful unit. That's why Jesus said, if any two of you can touch and agree on anything, just touch and agree that it would be done, whatever we agreed on would be done for us by the Father. Mm -hmm. So we see that the, the power in the word, when we can speak a word of agreement, not a word of confusion, right. says whatever we imagine would be done. In fact, there's a scripture that, that speaks to being uh, on one accord in harmonious uh, connection with God by speaking the same thing that God says. So when we're speaking, when we're saying other words, we're saying not the words that come out of the vanity of our minds, which is full of nonsense. We're talking about speaking the principles and the concepts of God, because those are the things that we want to see manifested in our lives. Because if we speak those things that are nonsensical and foolish, like God, they are, we have a creative force and those things will manifest in our lives.